here I am a backbencher in the box. Yes, this is my spot. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> the tourist spot, like to see what's going on in front. <laughs> I normally sit towards the back, um, but yeah, we came a bit late. Uh, we're in Australia for the test series, so by the time we got here, I think the seats were sort of decided already. So this is the only open spot, so I had to, had to take it. I was in the back when I was in the first IP here and Sri Lanka team also, so I'm continuing it, yeah. And when you're at the back, you don't have to look back, you can look straight in front and travel comfortably. <laughs> no, I just came late on tour, so this was the only available spot. Nah, there's usually silence here. Faf is usually on his iPad watching a series. I think there it's uh, probably the calm before the storm in the front. So, yeah, I'll give the back the brains of the operation. Uh, I think I'm a middle person, closer to the middle door just uh, makes it pretty easy to get on and off the bus, you know. Um, someone, as soon as we drive more than 10 minutes, I'll take a quick little power nap in my seat. Um. I think, yeah, we all just, it's not that you have to sit there, it's just understood as this is your place. Um, as you can see, sleep. But uh, before a game, I'll probably just chill, listen to some music. Um, yeah, that's me. Listen to some music, look outside, enjoy the view and uh, just take it all in. I'll usually put music in and just uh, get myself nice and calm. Um, so yeah, I like listening to music, my own music. Yeah, I'm just a big fan of music, you know. Um, always have music in my ears, always singing something or busy trying to make a freestyle of some sort. So yeah, that's a... Uh, I mean, the allegations are definitely true. I can't deny them. Uh, I was in TikToks. Yeah, I was in TikToks for the game, yeah, a lot. Whenever I'm with Edmire, uh, I can't say silent because, you know, he will ask me something or something like that. But whenever I'm alone, you know, I, I normally just channel in and, you know, find focus, you know, listen to some music and that's it. I used to be quite superstitious, but I've tried to sort of go away from that. So, uh, yeah, at the moment, there's nothing uh, in particular that I do. I think uh, some days I'll listen to music, some days I'll just be reading something. Um, more often than not, I'm scrolling through social media and just seeing what's happening. Um, but yeah, try, try not to do something, try not to be too uh, repetitive. Uh, yeah, just don't want to be too superstitious, so try and, try and mix it up. I used to sit alone, but uh, Hare Nishant was a good guy. Because when I, when I was in the IPL for the first 10, 12 days, he was like, he usually sit down next to me and he like keep telling the stories about this stuff that happened in CSK earlier days. And he was like showing me the pants that they're gonna come with the bikes and stuff. He was a good guy, yeah. Well, it's have Sim and also Donovan, you know. He always tried to talk like uh, I'm a Caribbean guy to me. <laughs> good wine. Ooh, let's see. Probably Nandre Burger. Why? He doesn't stop singing. He's gonna sing the whole trip. Oh, man. Uh, I have no idea. I would, I would guess everyone because they, they won't get any peace and quiet sitting next to me. <laughs> but um, yeah, I have no idea. Maybe you'll have to go around asking asking some of the guys if they'll be happy sitting next to me or not. I think when we used to go to national weeks with uh, the provincial sides, to take a trip from Bloom to Cape Town was like a 12, 10 to 12 hour bus trip, which is very long. And that was always fun. You go through all the different stages of enjoyment to boredom, to you just want to be there, to excitement. So yeah, those were always great. Just because it was like awkward coming in, you're not knowing where to sit. So you're like trying to look around to see, you know, are there any open seats? And I think I eventually took Alzari's seat <laughs> and he ended up sitting next to me, which was quite cool. So yeah, my first bus journey was was a memorable one. Very interesting. Um, we had quite a far bus trip in Sri Lanka and it's I feel like it was a 50 kilometer bus trip, but it took us like six or seven hours to do it. It was, it was crazy. Um, I can't remember where we went to from where, um, but yeah, it was crazy long and it was one of the longest ones. I remember we, we stopped like two or three times just to like stretch our legs. It, was, it, felt, it felt like it took three days. Not true. I think maybe one that actually comes to mind, Yanaman who sits behind me. Um, we made our ODI debuts together. I think he got 100 in his second game and he was like top of the world. Um, yeah, had a great night, everyone was happy, whatever, he was in a good space and then he walked onto the bus and I think he spilled his coffee all over himself and we had a two hour bus trip um, from, I think it was Bloom to Poch, so he had to sit for that whole journey filled with uh, coffee all over his clothes and stuff, so I think, yeah, that was pretty funny, it's something that uh, comes to mind, um, but yeah, bus journeys are normally quite fun, I think uh, we spend so much time in the bus that everyone just tries to have a good time and then make it enjoyable.
it doesn't matter where it is, how busy it is, if something's shaking, something's still, if it's hard, if it's soft. If I can rest my head, I feel like I can sleep.